In this video, we are going to explore the new and improved internet, or as some may call it, Web 3.0. You may find it interesting at just how many different industries have already been disrupted. Let's take a look. Back handle, back, back handle. Welcome back, Coach K here. So today we're gonna to talk about uh, basically Web 3.0, blockchains of the internet. So we can see that there are a lot of use cases for blockchain. And I'm basically just gonna go over the main ones today with you. So you can have a greater understanding of what is already out there. And even some on this list are missing because there are new ones that also can be added. And there's always going to be more and more added as this technology gets better understood and as we move forward into the future. Because right now, most people weren't really looking into blockchains and in really into the last three or four years. So let's look at what we have. So technically we also have protocols. That's basically how crypto, um, you know, talks to each other. Um, we have DOS, AI platforms, so we can build on, right? Um, layers, which we could take on a side chain like Lightning Network or Rootstock, which actually speed Bitcoin up and will ha help have faster transactions. Right. We have VPN software, identity access so that people can, you know, scan your face and biometrically scan and potentially pay that way um, for your for your funds, because that's all you need is you really you. Um, we have banking online, cryptocurrencies, obviously exchanges, obviously um, lending platforms will lend you money um, and you pay it back. We have accounting already there and which is awesome because accounting is great for crypto and blockchain because you can't change the ledger. So once you put it in, that's what happened. It doesn't get changed ever. We also see um, web searching. We have uh, legal governance. We have social networks that are popping up. We have messaging applications and marketplaces that are going to compete with eBay and Amazon. Gambling. We also have uh, e-gaming, e sports. Uh, you know, and this list is going to go on. File storage, still file storages, VPNs, which will probably work much better than the ones we have now. Computation, right? So these are going to make big supercomputers that can do different things, right? That will help society potentially with AI, especially. Um, we'll see card providers come out so you can spend your crypto trading platforms so you can trade your crypto um, or people that will trade for you potentially um like trade.io for example i uh, heard they actually had an issue at trade.io but anyways um prediction markets we also have supply chains so things like fedex and ups have a competition like vchain which are going to basically challenge it to make it cheap and it's going to be hard for them to not compete with uh, to compete by doing that so that's something also to take into consideration we have freelancing like Upwork and uh, Freelancer, and we'll have them in already, we already do have them in crypto. Uh, we have things like music, Spotify, there's also virtual reality like Decentraland where you can buy a plot of land and you can actually like own it in the game and people come on your property and you make a marketplace and they pay you in crypto. It's really interesting actually. Um, there's home rental options. We have micro tasks that can be done um, by Storm and Gems. Uh, and the list just goes on and on. And the whole point I'm trying to get at is, is there an industry you think that there's missed here? I don't think you've seen an industry missed here. There are so many different options. And the thing is that I'm telling you right now, not all of these coins would last. That's not really the biggest picture here. The big picture is it's applicable to so many different areas of life and things that we already do currently. So what's going to happen is as blockchain blossoms and becomes more widely adapted and used, you're going to see with your own eyes, the whole entire landscape change and what we do will change and how we do it will change. And that's the exciting part about the whole idea of Web 3.0. Think about what the internet did for us in the last 20 years. It is insane how much we use that now. It's literally, you can't live without it almost, right? So here's the point. The point is we are in a really exciting time and we already have a lot of things that are developed in different areas and there's gonna be more and more exciting things that happen. And as you guys come through more and more um, experience with me, 
you will also have my you know reviews of different projects so that you can actually do more research off of mine but have you know a little bit of a leeway of what actually these projects are and what they do so that's also something that we'll talk about later so coach k is signing out you guys have a great day that little, that little.